Good morning. What a beautiful day, December in western Kentucky. The third day of December in 72. What we're going to do today is show you how to maintain your shooting mat range. Behind me is the targets that we've had a match, that we had a, a match shot, and then there's about two weeks they've been hanging for people to practice. If you look behind you on the floor, that's how much brass we shot. What we're going to do is show you the process of maintaining your range by painting your targets. We paint both sides and number both sides, so typically we'll hang one out, have a match with clean targets, leave that target array set up for two weeks prior to our next match, and in the next match we move them around, flip them around, so a set of targets will last, in our case, a month because we have bi-weekly matches. So follow over here with me and we'll show you how we get our targets painted and ready to hang. We're going to need just regular house flat latex, cheapest, I think we give $18 at the local Ace Hardware for that paint over at Ackridge's. We need a roller brush. We found that the woolly brushes cover better and a can of aerosol paint. Uh, steel target paint works really, really well. You're going to see I'm lightly painting, just lightly painting it. The rounds, just cover it up. Get me a little more paint. Okay, these 10 number ones are painted, but you're, they're very thin coats. The thinner the coat you put on, the longer they'll last. Okay, we leave our, this is a, a template that we've had cut out that fits on the side of it. Always remember that the holes, the hanger holes, are at the top of the target. Ten. ten round or ten squares, one round on the front row. By the time it took to paint the others, these were dry enough up front, the first ones. We just keep moving on. Two, three, four. 